What's up YouTube, it's James Q Quick, and today I wanna show you how to share all of your Visual Studio Code settings across multiple instances of VS Code. That's what we're gonna do, so we'll go ahead and dive on in. All right, so I've got open uh, an instance of VS Code. This is actually VS Code Insiders Edition. The reason I'm doing this is I completely reset uh, this version of VS Code, this Insiders Edition, to start from scratch. So this is what a base instance of VS Code looks like, and I wanna show you from start, from scratch, what it looks like to uh, set up the setting sync extension, which is what you're looking at here. So uh, first thing is, inside of your extensions, you'll wanna search for this extension, setting sync. You'll wanna come over and click install. Once that uh, page is, or that extension is installed, you'll get a new page open that basically kind of tells you how to go about setting this extension up. And it's actually really sweet. And what we'll do is we'll click the login with GitHub button. Uh, this says, yeah, let's go to external website. That sounds good with me. I'm gonna have to bring this page over. Uh, this is what it shows me. Now, uh, the interesting thing here is I've already authenticated with GitHub. So you will have to log in with your GitHub credentials and give access to this extension to do the thing that it's gonna do. So just keep in mind, you'll have to do that part, but mine's already done. So it says success, you can close this tab. That means I've now been logged in with uh, GitHub to setting sync here. Now, I have my main settings here, is this one up here, but I wanna create a new one because I'm gonna start from scratch and I wanna create a new one. So with, uh, with these settings right here, I can do a skip. New one will, cre will be created on my first upload. Okay, cool. So let's try something out. Let's install an extension uh, let's do a theme. Cobalt 2, this is uh, the theme that I use by West Boss. Lots of people ask me about this theme. Uh, I really like it. I think the colors are super cool and it just adds a little bit of fanciness to the editor. So with that installed, let's see here. Um, that not, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and set that as the color theme so we should see it just activated. Okay, cool. So that's actually a setting. Why is that? Oh, there we go. So I need to select Cobalt 2. So this is actually a setting if we look in side of our settings under the gear icon and then come to settings. Uh, we should see a theme. Uh, and then down here under workbench, color theme is Cobalt 2. Okay, so that's a user setting. Let's also change something like the font size. Let's do something like that. Let's change it to something noticeable, 18. Be a much bigger font. Now, if we were to have a file, let's just do a new file and type and let's just make sure that's working. Let's do 24. All right, so that's bigger. So, okay, so we've got two different settings saved. We've got the font size and the theme saved. So now what we wanna do, once you have all of your extensions and you have all these settings and you have all these snippets, all these different things that you have, you want to now upload those to that gist in GitHub. So what we do is we come down, use the command palette with Command Shift P on Mac or Control Shift P on Windows. Come down and say upload or update upload settings, let's do that. And what this is going to do, it says it's reading the all of my settings and extensions, it created a new gist. Okay, so that created a new gist for me. It didn't actually finish the process, so I'm gonna show you why. So I'm gonna do this one more time, update or upload settings, let's do that. And then it's gonna prompt me whether or not I wanna do this. So yes, I wanna change whatever is out there in that gist, go ahead and update it with the stuff that I've got in here. So what this means is if I scroll over to YouTube and I look at my gist, page i've got uh the one that's my original one is up here so these uh these two are the most recent this top one is actually the one that we just created so if we look in here we can see we've got the setting sync extension we've got uh the cobalt theme as my theme and then under settings we've got the cobalt theme reference and then the editor font size so settings key bindings extensions all that stuff will be synced in this gist so what I wanna show is, let's come back into my two finder windows. If I open these up, now I don't necessarily recommend doing this yourselves, but inside of Code Insiders folder, I can get rid of everything there. And then inside of extensions, I can get rid of everything here. This is basically just gonna reset my VS Code back to base settings. So now, open Insiders again. So I'm gonna do that now. This is pretend I'm on VS Code on another computer somewhere. I'm going to add the setting sync extension again. All right, so install that. We'll log in with GitHub. That thing will open up a page. It'll say, all right, you've already logged in. Good. Now it'll say, which one of these things do you wanna choose from? 
Well, I wanna choose the one that's the most recent. So let me choose the 86 seconds. And it says, have saved your configuration. Let me now close the tab. All right, close tab. So now I've got a reference to that gist. Now in the command palette again, control shift P or command shift P on Mac. I can come back down and now I can download settings from the gist that I'm connected to. So now if I do a download, it's gonna get that theme. It's gonna get the font size. Notice that font size is bigger. It's gonna pull all of that stuff in, which is super, super cool. So all of the stuff that I've got saved is now being pulled in. Now I wanna show this, I wanna do this whole process basically one more time. Let's get rid of all of the extensions installed in here and then all of the stuff inside of Insiders. All right, so we're basically starting over from scratch again with the Insiders here. All right, so I'm gonna open it up. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through that same process for the third time. Sorry about that seems redundant, but I think it's cool to show you this. Let's go ahead and install. I will log in with GitHub. It's gonna say, all right, you've already logged in. Thank you. I go back over here and now I'm gonna choose the Visual Studio Code settings that I actually use myself. So this has all the stuff that I used and it was last used 43 minutes ago. So I can select this thing, got that. Now let's do a sync or again, or a download, so download settings. And I want you to see how many of these things it's gonna go ahead and download. So it's downloading all of these extensions. You'll see little info pages pop up for those extensions. It's gonna download all of my settings, which I've got a decent amount. It's gonna download snippets. It's gonna grab every single thing that I had saved in my main instance of VS Code and install it right here in this new instance of VS Code. So we'll give this a second and I'll come back and take a look. Okay, so that actually took a while to install all of these extensions. Let me scroll back through this list and let me show you just how many things are in here. So extensions that were added, a ton. There's like 50 different extensions in here that it synced. It downloaded, uh, there's different key bindings, settings, snippets, all these things got copied in here as well. Everything is like exactly how I want it, except for one thing, and it's that some of these extensions you need to reload Visual Studio Code to take advantage of. So it gives me this option, hey, do you wanna reload to get the latest and greatest of your configuration? Yes, go ahead and reload. And now I've got everything that I'm used to inside of my VS Code uh, across basically a, a separate instance of VS Code, which is super, super sweet. I think this is one of the coolest things about VS Code. It's one of the coolest things out there. It's great. I get, I open up a new computer and I can get started with VS Code in minutes because of this extension. So hopefully you kind of understand the power of this. Hopefully you start to kind of share your stuff across different instances of VS Code on different computers and whatnot. So I'm curious, has anyone used this extension before? Have you ever been in a situation where you had a new instance of VS Code and you were just manually trying to figure out which extensions and reset your settings and all that kind of stuff. Have you ever been through this pain point like I have? And can you appreciate the benefit of the settings sync extension? So that's gonna do it for this video. I wanna thank you for checking it out and I'll see you in the next one.